Hello there and welcome back to Midler Faces. I'm Cheryl. I am exhausted, but I am determined to get in a video or two tonight. Yeah, I just got over the flu. Let me tell you, the worst cold to get is from the AC unit. In New York, we have had, like, the weather was crazy. We were hitting almost 100. Now, you know, I've always been talking about loving the warm weather and I can't wait for it to get warm and I like the dragon heat. Well, I have to change that song a little because I almost dissolved a couple of times outside and the running in and out, you know, from the heat to the AC, yeah, I got zapped and it was so bad. I ran and had a COVID test, came out negative, but it was, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty interesting. But the warm weather here in New York is a little different because we've got these large buildings that the, you know, the air doesn't circulate as well as it would in a tropical setting. I never thought I would say this, but I cannot wait for the cool air to come back. It's, it, it was bad, okay? It was really bad. Today I'd like to talk about the idled mind and the negative effects of it, so don't go away. <music> You know, we've always heard this idle mind as a playground for the devil, and that is a fact. And I think what takes place there is you have too much time on your hands. And when you have too much time on your hands and you're not using it in the right way, the enemy can have a very good time with you. If you're not using your time efficiently, what's going to start taking place is your mind is just going to go awry because you have nothing strategic that you're thinking about. You have nothing that you're excited about or working on. You have no plans. You're just like a blank sheet of paper. And when that is taking place, this is where the enemy gets to kick in. I've always been talking about us having a private talk show. Well, if you're not making uses of your time, then you are thinking about all of the stuff, you know, in the internal, all of the negative stuff, because that's usually what takes place. You're not going to be thinking about anything positive. You're going to think about all of the things that's not working out, all the things that make you unhappy, you know, and that's what's not good. Once you have that voice on your shoulders, just feeding into whatever it is that you're not, taken care of internally, the inner battles, that's going to start to surface. And it doesn't usually happen in the positive. You know, I don't like to say someone is not ambitious. I don't like to talk that way because we all have gifts. A lot of people prefer to dabble in things that's bringing them no fulfillment. And when we say the enemy is taking over, you'll be getting involved with things like competing with others, envy and jealousy, gossiping. All of these negative things is what will take place when you have nothing going on. My dad, he was well into his 80s, but he always had something that he was busy doing. And that's how I like to be as well. Life is happening, right? You've got that nine to five or whatever you're doing to keep things flowing. But what are you doing for enjoyment? What is it that rings your bell, so to speak? If it gets to that point, then take a class, learn a new skill, learn a language, do something to, you know, to pass the time. But if you're just going idle, every day on end. I talk about the way time is flying. It's not flying anymore. It's flinging. I mean, you turn around and two hours went by in 15 minutes. I think at some point in time, we've got to talk to ourselves. That's a statement my mom used to make. You know, you, that's, that's basically having that consciousness, that self-realization. Because at the end of the day, we are all looking for that peace. We're all looking for that happiness and fulfillment. And you are not going to find it on this route. You know, there's, there's some laziness in there too. Because if you're not looking to put in the work, 
then you are just basically existing. And that's part of the problem. We've got to have that consciousness. Once that realization is there on what is my purpose, you know, what should I be doing? What can I do to make myself happier? And, and see, that's the key. Because I think a lot of times when you're going idle to the point where the enemy is getting to control us to get into the negative stuff, the darkness, because that there's no light there. You know, once you are in that mode where you can be picked up, that means that you were not doing your due diligence. You were just like giving in to just existing and not looking for your fulfillment because it, it's not going to just happen. We have to want something. And you're not going to tell me that you're not interested in anything because we all have something that we are interested in. I mean, it's not possible for us to be going through life and not having any kind of excitement, you know, things that really have meaning. I mean, real meaning. So just take some time and pay attention to what it is that you really need to have that fulfillment and happiness. I know you know that statement because it's something I say all the time, you know, to take time to find your peace and happiness. Going idle is not a very good thing to do because it only has darkness. There's no light there. I think a lot of people that get caught up with stuff like this are individuals that are really, they're not happy within themselves. And, you know, we spent a lot of time talking about self-love. Well, I'm going to revert back to that because I believe that it all intertwines. You've got to have that self-love and that fire inside in order to go after your dreams. To just be existing and letting your days go by, just idling and getting yourself deeper and deeper into foolishness, nothings, that just doesn't make any sense to me. For an individual like myself who, you know, I wake up and I'm just like so excited about life. I'm just like bursting at the seams with all the things that I, you know, I wish I had more hands because I'm just like, I like learning, first of all. I like learning. I like, you know, just getting involved with things because life to me is a learning process from the simplest thing and just looking for your joy, which I think I'm going to make you know, the second part of this video is just looking for that joy and, and searching for that fulfillment. To just be going idle every day is a dangerous thing to do because you need to have that stimulation. And I'm not talking about waking up and letting your entire day be about someone else. Just take time to find your authenticity. What will make you authentic? We were all given a gift search for yours and stop letting the enemy control you with all of the negative emotions that you're getting involved with. I think that um, the further we go into our later years, this is important because I, I truly believe and we have no meaning, we have no purpose. And we're just busy doing absolutely nothing and just wasting time, having no fulfillment. It's, that's not what we're doing here find your purpose and get your enjoyment. Okay? Check us out at midliferises.com. Do subscribe to the channel and give us that like. I want to get those likes up. That's very important for um, the analytics. So give us your support and we will see you next time. Okay? You take care now.